Hey there, Geometry Cats. Geometry Cats and Kittens. Today, we are going to be looking at 1.1. 1. 1. We're going to call it B. We're going to be looking at measuring segments. Alright, for many of you, this will be your first video of the year. Congrats. I should say I'm sorry. Um, hopefully, it won't be too bad for you. I'm going to try and make these short and sweet. I do have more videos dealing with this section from our previous book. Um, maybe eventually I'll link to those so that way you guys can double dip if you want more examples. So uh, let's just get started with it. All right, we're, we're dealing with geometry. We're going to start first with measuring segments. Um, if you've ever used a tape measure, it starts at zero and it goes to some number. And then the distance of it is from zero to that number. You just count up how many inches there are, how many centimeters for our everyone else in the world except us friends and that is true with a number line as well so the distance between two points a and b can be written as the length of a b oh it's lagging all right i'll make it work this way remember a b with a hat means the segment a b okay a b hat or if you just write the endpoints of a segment, that's implied length. Okay, so we'll see that in a little bit. But if you just see the two letters, the two endpoints without the little hat on it, that means you're looking for the number, the measure, the length of that line segment. So let's take a look at this piece. We're looking at the length of AB. I'm too old. I can't see that. Well, if I'm watching this on my phone device, my cellular telephone device. That's better. I mean, I just messed up the words, but that's okay. You got YouTube. You can rewind. It's magic. All right. So let's find the length of AB. Now, there's two ways we can do it. We can subtract them. My endpoint, so I do 3 minus negative 1. Which, by my calculations, a bad thing happens to a bad person. You add them, and I got 4. Or you could have just counted. You could have counted. A one, a two, a three, a four. A four. That's all there is to it, guys. That's the length of a line set. I mean, you did it. Now, what's it mean to be congruent? Congruent means not equal. Equal means you're the exact same segment. A congruent means you're two segments with the exact same length. So for this one, if A, B, equals cd now i just said not equals but here i can write it because without the hat that means measure so i'm saying if the length of ab equals the length of cd then the segments are congruent and i would write that as ab the hat i'm talking about the actual segment now is congruent to segment cd okay we're going to be using this a lot this year so we have to make sure we get this Without the hat on, without the segment, I'm saying the measure, so the number. So AB is equal to CD. They're both four. But then I can say that the two actual physical segments are congruent to each other. Congruent means they have the same measure. They're the same length. Okay? Not in your head if you're getting it. All right, great. All right. Scroll down a little bit. All right. Collinear. If you have three points that are collinear, so A, B, and C are collinear, then this is the seg segment addition posture, by the way. So if they're collinear, I can say that A, B, plus BC equals AC. I know that seems silly, but if I take two pieces and I add them up, I get the whole thing. So if AB plus BC equals AC. Okay? Let's see what that actually means. So here we have PQR, three collinear points. So if PQ is 9, 
and QR is 28, find PR. So if PQ is 9, QR is 28, what's this whole thing? Well, PR would equal the sum of each of those parts. So I just add them up. If I add up the pieces, I get the whole thing. That's all there is to it. Don't overthink these sometimes. Okay. Oh, wait a second. Gee golly, mister. Can't be that easy. Well, if there's some curveballs being thrown at you. And little silly curveballs. All right. So here we have QR17, number two. And PR is 21. So the whole thing is 21. How can I find the missing piece? Well, 17 plus PQ, my missing piece. Now, some of you might be screaming at the television the screen right now saying, well, gee, golly, Mr. Jewelliger, I could just subtract and got four, and that's the answer. But I'm showing you why. Um, four is a fine answer. It was 21. Right? Because 17 plus my missing piece equals the whole thing. So I'm going to subtract 17 from both sides. So I get PQ equals 4. Okay, so you're right before. We just got to make sure. All right, y'all, let's just pause and check time. All right, I will do some of the algebra ones in class with you guys to make sure that we're on the right page. I'm going to move ahead to the midpoint part so pew, pew, pew. magic Look how quick that was let's talk about midpoints that's not midpoints this is midpoints what do you when you hear mid what do you think oh yep you're right middle so the midpoint of a segment is the middle of a segment and when you're in the middle it means you cut it in half there's two equal sides Right, so let's break down this definition then. So the blank of a segment, the midpoint. The midpoint. Well, that didn't work. No, it did. God, that's perfect, Henry. The midpoint of a segment is the point that divides the segment into two congruent segments. Two parts with the same length, right? All right, now a line rate or segment that intersects, 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 blah, 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 remix, a segment at its midpoint is said to bisect. Bisect means to cut in half. For example, if you look at the picture over here, maybe, can I do it like this? Oopsie, no. Good try, Mr. Twilliger. So that is a segment bisector if it cuts a segment in half. All right, so if we look at this picture over here, whoa, right, so say we're getting wild here. If we look at this picture over here. We have line L, right? And we have a midpoint. B cuts us into two equal parts. So B is the midpoint. There's a dead spot on my Moby. It doesn't work. Oh, no. There's a lot of them. All right. I'm doing this this way. So B is the midpoint of AC, right? Don't forget the hat. Doing this a way I've never done before, so it should be like. And line L, this line right here, okay? Because it intersects at the midpoint, it cuts that segment in half. We're going to call it a segment bisector. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. It's okay of AC. All right.
All right, guys. Um, I will do another one of these in class as well. I'm going to try to keep these videos relatively quick, get the stuff out of the way, and then in class I'll do the algebra examples, and then we can work them together. Uh, sound good? Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if it doesn't make a lot of sense right now, that's fine, because tomorrow you can ask questions. All right, see you guys tomorrow.